All right, what's going on, everybody? Chip Hardbody here. Doing something a little different than a moto vlog today. Uh, I am doing my best to honor the spirit of the stay at home order. Uh, so I'm not getting out and riding around and going and doing things um, right now. Uh, also, you all may have seen my post on Twitter, or maybe not. Um, I have been having a lot of issues with my GoPro and its audio. I don't know if the GoPro itself is dying, but I I don't know if that's the case because I actually did try to uh, record to my phone as well using a, a set of earbuds and that microphone and the audio was still garbage. Um, I'm just not sure what to do at this point. Uh, so I'm... I'm looking into it and trying to get it taken care of, but until then, uh, what I thought was going to be decent footage, because I only checked uh, a few moments of it, uh, ended up not being usable. So, instead, uh, we're going to do something that I thought might be a little bit fun uh, and entertaining for you guys, hopefully, and probably horrible for me, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, so what I am doing is I am sitting down at my computer and I am downloading some of the most negatively reviewed games on Steam. Uh, and if you don't play PC, Steam is just a client that uh, has a lot of games in it. And users can go in and rate games based on their experience. Uh, I am picking some of the worst reviewed to, to have some fun with and make fun of, probably. Uh... By any chance, if you're the developer of this game and you're watching this uh, these videos, I apologize. But you know, if if a game sucks, a game sucks, and uh, we're we're gonna experience it together. So if I say it sucks, do you think it's great? You tell me why in the comments. Um, if people enjoy this series, that I'll keep doing it. Uh, I'm excited to get jumped into it. I actually did try uh, a a game um, on here, and it was just it just crashed constantly <laughs> oh it was so bad it was it was called aerial guardian this one right up here aerial guardian uh just kept crashing and it's an online game uh, where you play uh in teams and there was literally no one else online and i didn't get to play it but i did i did try that one is rated lower than the one we're gonna be playing uh, right now, and this one is called Gasp. Uh, from what I can see, uh, I'm going into this blind. I know nothing about this game, uh, but from what I can see from the, from the screenshots and the short little video that Steam has, it looks like it's uh, you know uh, an exploration game, uh, like a sim, a walking simulator, perhaps. I don't know, uh, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna do this together, okay? Um, <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm going to switch over to game capture so that we can do this right. All right, so right off the bat, uh, we've got uh, the configuration, so the, the input screen resolution. While it's defaulting to 1176 by 664, we're going to change that to 1920 by 1080. Graphics quality, low, good, and high. Those are your presets. I'm going to keep it on my right monitor. Uh, so I can look at you on dramatic moments. Uh, and we're not going windowed. Uh, for input, we're going keyboard and mouse. Um, that's interesting that the, the primary controls would be uh, the arrow keys. But sure. Let's give it a shot. Oh, going pixelated. Okay, we're going to turn off play capture. We're going with game capture. Come on. Okay. So right off the bat, uh, this is fuzzy as hell. Uh, and I'm not really sure about the the curvature here. Was that intentional? Yeah, it looks like a bad Photoshop job. Uh, let's go go to the controls real quick. Uh, WS did move right mouse button to zoom, space to jump, escape to pause, change that in the pause menu. All right, cool. Pretty simple. 
Uh, Alright, I don't really care who made this. Um, we're, we're just going to dive right into it. Our game. Uh, let's see here. So we got to we got to go to the moon first. So we're gonna start there. I do actually I like I like the the moon and Mars spinning. I'm not sure if they are uh, correct as far as the terrain hello? goes. Oh, hello. Respond. Are I you can't. Okay? Hello. Respond. Look, it seems communications are down on your end, but we can see you are receiving us just fine. Okay. I guess for now I'll guide you to the other team members. Yes. It seems your capsule crash landed miles from the LZ. You need to meet up with the others before your O2 runs low. Your HUD should be live and tracking the GPS signal on the other members. Hmm. This is weird. It seems to be showing five unknown signals. There must be a glitch in your visor. We're unsure which is the right signal. You're gonna have to choose one and hope for the best. Oh. Your O2 tank wasn't built for long surface trips. So you oh shit. Get one no. To choose. Oh, I got hit. Because I don't think the oxygen will hold out long. I got to run. So you better hurry. Good luck, sir. We're all praying for you. The lighting is absolutely atrocious. Oh my word. Okay. So, first impressions. Uh, number 1, the the mouse button controls your like which way you're looking, which is fairly normal in like a first person game, but the problem is is oh god, I just bounced right off me. I keep getting hit by asteroids. They seem to be very attracted to me, which makes sense. Uh so another another point to note very very immediately and something that is very obnoxious right now, uh, is uh I do not like that the text is white, uh to indicate the how far away people are. Uh, that seems very counterintuitive when the surface of the moon is also why I think the surface is supposed to be the shadowed but it's showing up very very bright on my screen uh, this is a janky fucking mess <laughs> holy shit all right we're gonna try to get to uh, we're gonna try to get to our teammate here uh, we got two point what does that say eight five eight four uh, meters to go oh yeah, I keep getting hit by asteroids. I don't, there's not really a good way to dodge them. Oh, wow. This game is... Uh, like, it feels very floaty, which makes sense for a game that takes place on the moon. Uh, or we're trying... There, we got we dodged to the side that time. Um, it feels very floaty. I don't really like the, the lack of any kind of precision. But I understand. Oh, I got... Oh, I got fucked up. 61% oxygen. Oh, we're this guy's a little closer. We're, we're gonna go to them instead. Right, we're going down the valley. I will say, like the terrain seems uh, nicely varied, and uh, like I like the 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 valleys and the rifts. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, just like your your character moves so slow. It's the moon. There's not a ton of interesting stuff to do other than just walk. And like it doesn't there's no uh there's no indication of whether you should of how to dodge the the asteroids other than just move. And I don't know, just it seems I don't like games that hold your hand too much, but you know, any kind of indication of, like, jump to dodge the asteroids or uh, any kind of a sprint mechanic, which I'm not not getting for this at all. Um, yeah, we're just, we're just going to... Oh! Okay, I'm pretty sure the moon does not have asteroids constantly bombarding its surface um, all the time. And I'm also pretty sure that they're not magnetically attracted to humans in spacesuits. Jesus! Or take a quick look. Oh, that is that is angular. Did that break off of something? Like, is that the story here? Did the moon ex did part of the moon explode? And these are just chunks of it that are being blown around its orbit, or did something else explode? I don't know. We have no story yet uh, because it's taking for goddamn ever to get to our teammate. Like, really, this is oof. It's really, really, uh, slow. 
I might actually cut some of this this video because this is taking re okay we're, we're maybe not we're, we're finally seems like we're making a little bit more progress but yeah I'm not a so far not a fan I can see why it's very negatively reviewed okay we got out of the way I don't like getting hit by asteroids the the indicator for the asteroids is also very confusing uh, as to which direction it's coming from like, what the hell what is that why does my screen keep going wonky I was I didn't get hit oh come on okay got out of the way of that one and we got out of the way of that one like the, the physics here. Oh, oh, that just disappeared. I see. I was gonna compliment <laughs> the developers on like the bouncing mechanics uh, because it did actually seem like uh, the like the lower gravity of the moon had an effect on the bounce. And, but then that one just fucking disappeared uh, into nothing. And what the hell? I'm very confused about what I'm supposed to do. My my fellow duder. There we go. All right. But this is what I mean with the, the white text on the white background. It's very difficult to read. Okay. We're going to jump. We can jump over the, over the terrain. That's important to be able to do. The breathing is uh, mildly disconcerting. Uh, I, don't, I don't really enjoy that. But this is a free game on Steam called Gasp. I'm just not even going to try to avoid the fucking boulders anymore. I'm just, oh, that lighting is killing me. It's going to give me a headache if I play this too long. Uh, so the whole purpose of this is that we are not actually probably going to play the entire game. Uh, I don't know if I could. Uh, we're we're going to play some of it. <laughs> and uh, just so I can show you what it looks like. So yeah, like I said, the whole purpose of these videos is just to uh, showcase some of the terrible games that you can you can download on Steam, and uh, they'll run on your system more than likely. Uh, I think my guy, like I think his right leg is broken because he just keeps tilting this way. Um, I, do, I do like the jump, but you can download these on Steam as well. Uh, or you can not, which for this one so far, I would highly recommend that you not. Is he down in this basin? Down in this fucking... There we go. Jump! Alright. Yeah, even with jumping, uh, it, that should have been more fun. That that little like jumping down into the basin like that that should have been more fun. This is the moon. Come on, low gravity. Like you can have so much fun with that mechanic, and right now it's just obnoxious. Well, those boulders just disappeared again. You can call them boulders. I don't know whether to call them asteroids or meteorites or. You know, just fucking chunks of rock. Oh. But we're 165, 160-ish meters away. God, it just feels like it's taking forever to get to this person. Better be worth it. I can see the, the, the little cone craft. So, we got another craft. 52% oxygen. So, there, there was no real danger here. So, let's. Oh, okay. Got a cutscene. Simulation over. Simulation over. You pass. Glad you're awake, sir. What? We have a situation, sir. It seems while you were under, we had an incident. My radar is telling me the life count on this station went from 100 to 1. You need to investigate. 
but it was a dream. Oh. Oh. What? What? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. That got me. That was a good... That, that was an, a master level trolling. Holy shit. Uh, all of that was basically just an ad for their other game. Now, I... I gotta see if they, if the game, uh, what was it, secluded? Uh, I gotta see if they actually made it, and I gotta, I gotta see if it, fucking, is it, is any better, or if it's just more of the same. If it's just more of the same, I'm not gonna bother, but if, if it looks a little better, then uh, there will definitely be a second part to this particular video. But this has been uh, the very first installment of uh, Let's Play the Worst Games on Steam. <laughs> um, and there are a few caveats. Uh, to the rules because I do want people to suggest more games that I can play. You can hit me up on Twitter uh, at uh, Chip Hardbody. You can hit me up here on YouTube in the comments. Uh, I do have a Twitch channel that I'll be I'll be running off of uh, here pretty soon where I'll be playing normal quote unquote games. Um, but this series is specifically going to be devoted to terrible games on Steam uh, because it's a lot of fun and. I mean that that was that was masterful. That was a masterful like I was just getting invested in this shitty shitty game, and ah uh, they they ripped it away from me. No conclusion. Uh, so if you want to suggest another terrible game for me to play, uh, the rules are uh, number one it needs to be free, or under five dollars. Free or under five dollars. That is the maximum. I prefer it to be free because I want this to be accessible to literally anyone. Uh, if they want to give these shitty games a try. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, no porn games. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'd have to censor out like literally the entire video on YouTube. So no porn games. Uh, we're not going to do it. Plus, I just I don't want to play those. If I want to watch porn, I'll fucking look it up myself. Um, let's see here. What other rules? Uh, uh, no. I might do some, some MMOs. Uh, but for right now, I think I'm going to keep it single player just because, again, I want this to be as accessible as possible to everyone. And uh, I also just, I really enjoy single player games and uh, I want to see what the worst of the worst is. And finally, it has to have uh, mostly negative reviews on Steam uh, or, or on any other PC platform. So it can be um, on Epic Games, Origin, uh yeah, any of them. I can't think of all of them right now. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Those are the rules. So, if you would like to see Chip uh, Hardbody play another terrible game, then uh, leave leave a suggestion down in the comments. And if we get uh, a bunch that I can't do, then we'll have some kind of a vote over on Twitter. And we'll see which one wins. Uh, until next time, this is Chip Hardbody. I hope y'all are having a real nice fucking day stay safe wash your fucking hands i'll catch you guys next time peace